media attention is so profound. Eric Nelson asked unsuccessfully for a mistrial right after closing arguments. So it's not surprising to legal experts that he's now asking Judge Cahill for a new trial after Chauvin's conviction. They signaled they were going to bring this motion. Attorney Michael Bryant, who was not involved in the case, says he doesn't expect Cahill to change his mind on issues where he's already ruled, like whether the jury should have been sequestered or if the trial should have been moved out of Hennepin County. Some of that is just setting up so you can have the appeal later on. But in his motion, Nelson also asked for what's known as a Schwartz hearing, quote, on the grounds that the jury committed misconduct. Nelson didn't single out any jurors, but may want a hearing on juror Brandon Mitchell. He was found to have worn a knee off our next shirt in a picture posted by his uncle when attending a march in Washington, D.C. last summer that referenced Floyd's death and police reform. Mitchell answered no on the juror questionnaire about whether he attended marches in Minneapolis or anything related to police brutality. If they bring him in, he'll get a chance to explain what he thought of these questions. Um, they'll also ask him about other answers he gave. Mitchell told Carol Levin he viewed the march not as one for Floyd, but rather to commemorate the anniversary of Martin Luther King's 1963 march on Washington. Ultimately, Judge Cahill must decide how to rule on the request for a hearing and new trial. He may reflect upon the, uh, the speed of the jury and the unanimous feeling of the jury and, and say, it, you know, in the end, didn't, didn't really have the effect. A spokesperson for the attorney general's office responded to the defense's motion saying, quote, the court has already rejected many of these arguments and the state will vigorously oppose them. If Judge Cahill denies the new trial request, the defense can, can then go to the court of appeals after sentencing, which is slated for June 25th.